Hey everybody, today is Tuesday, October 10th, 2023, and we're here in Exton, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we are in Exton, Pennsylvania is because a lot of you guys asked me to do an update on the Exton Square Mall. Ever since I did a video, I guess it was a week or two ago, on the um, Coventry Mall in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, that for the most part is a completely dead mall. Some of you guys were asking me to come out here and do an update on, uh, on this mall, the sea to see what the state of the Exton Square Mall is. And as you can hear, they are still doing maintenance at this mall. There's a guy out here blowing leaves away. So this mall, I guess, is not completely dead. It actually is kind of a weird sort of mall. The fact that it's been sort of hanging on for all these, um, that's so loud, for all these years, this mall has kind of been um, just, just hanging on by a thread, if you will. A lot of the stores, have completely closed down. Again, maintenance happening out here. A lot of the stores have completely closed down. Effective January 2023, mall doors will not be open for walking until 9 a.m. So at least there is still at least at least they are still allowing people to come in here and um, and walk the mall, unlike the Coventry Mall that uh, shut down and no longer allows that. Looks like the pizza place is still here in the food court. The Chick-fil-A is still open, which kind of surprises me. Honestly thought that would be closed down. It looks like it's just the pizza place and the Chick-fil-A. The pizza place used to have really, really good pizza. And not that, not that I'm knocking that pizza place, but uh, the place that was there before that pizza place was there had some of the most amazing, delicious mall pizza I've ever had in my entire life. Unfortunately, they closed down and the place is there now it has okay pizza but it's it's kind of just mall pizza now but um yeah again this mall's been weird it's just kind of been holding on by a thread some random stores have sort of stuck around inside here there's still a macy's and a boss cost but for the most part all the other stores a lot of the stores have shut down it's it's a very weird bizarre mall and i have not been out here in months so we're gonna walk around quickly see what is still left of this mall, see what is still around, but I'm not expecting to find very much. So look at this, even the uh, K Jewelers here doesn't open up until 12 or till 11. They realize that there's probably just no reason to uh, open up early inside this mall because um, nobody's really coming to this mall. In fact, it's, uh, it's like almost 11 o'clock now and a lot of these stores, as you can see, are still closed. The Hot Topic, is still here, which is pretty awesome. Wasn't sure if they would if they would still be open, but again, it's it's almost 11 o'clock and not many of these, these little stores are open. And there's only like stores kind of in this sort of main little area right here. I believe once we kind of get around the corner, it's gonna be completely dead. It honestly is a shame that this mall has, uh, has become the way it has become because I, I loved coming out here when I was a teenager, when I was a young adult. Here's the Gertrude Hawks there. Gertrude Hawks? Gertrude Hawk. Gertrude Hawk is uh, completely shut down. That 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 stuck around for a while. They used to be open up until only a couple, maybe like a couple of months ago or something like that. I think the last time I was here, maybe they were still open at that point. I honestly can't remember. I love Gertrude Hawk chocolate. The Macy's is still, is still hanging on. It's kind of like the main flagship store that's actually still here. As you can see though, there's a lot of leaks and all kinds of stuff going on. I got the inside scoop a while back about the um, the mall and the uh, the state of the mall and the state of um, it kind of falling falling apart. And uh, apparently, last I heard, again I don't know what the um, what the update is, but last I heard, the people who owned the mall really weren't putting the money or the time or the effort into um, to the upkeep the mall needed and. Uh, because of that, like it never got sold. I think it was supposed to get sold at one point. It never ended up getting sold because the upkeep wasn't, wasn't really being done on the mall. So again, what, what the state of the actual mall is, I'm not entirely sure, but you can hear there's still music playing. They, they, still have, they still have the music going. So the mall is still technically open. It's still a thing. It's still, it's still hanging on. Look at the, the play area here. Check this out without the, the praying mantis and all the different worms and frogs and stuff in there. That's pretty awesome. So as I was saying before, in my teens and into my, uh, my 20s, my, 
my early adulthood, I used to love coming out to this mall because it, it offered stores that the other malls didn't offer. There's a huge, gigantic mall called the King of Prussia Mall, one of the largest malls on the East Coast. That's only a couple of miles down the road, which probably helped lead to the downfall of, of this mall, unfortunately. But that mall had some interesting stores. I used to love going to that mall, but I used to love coming here because the stores this mall offered were different. They were unique. They were stores the other mall did not have. So coming out here was a was an interesting thing to to do. It was a um, it was a bit of a treat. It was something special because you could come to stores that the other malls did not have. And I used to love doing that. I just I would love coming out here, walking the mall, checking out all the awesome stores, going to stores I didn't normally go to. Although this was a store the other mall used to have. This used to be Sam Goody. Who remembers buying movies, buying records, buying albums from from Sam Goody. I used to buy CDs and DVDs and Blu-rays from Sam Goody all the time. And you can see it's still colored like Sam Goody and the, the old pegged walls are still there. So it kind of still has that feel of an old, an old Sam Goody. I believe that's the original Sam Goody flooring as well. I remember when they went out of business. I remember coming out to all the different Sam Goodies throughout all the different malls and trying to get as many amazing deals as I possibly could on on movies back then. I got some really, really, really good deals on movies when uh, when Sam Goody went out of business. But honestly, as amazing as those deals were, as much as I loved getting amazing deals on those, uh, those DVDs and Blu-rays and whatnot, kind of wish they were still around. So again, the upkeep of this mall just honestly isn't really all that great. The thing is pretty much being left to uh, to fall apart from what I hear. Roofs are are leaking and things aren't really getting fixed. Apparently uh, escalators are are breaking down and they're not getting fixed up. There's a there's just a lot of stuff that needs to be done to this mall, which is why nobody really has any interest in in buying it, unfortunately. And I also have heard that uh, maybe at the end of the year, the owners of this mall won't be owning it anymore. Apparently they're crazy ridiculous ridiculously in debt. I'm, I'm hearing up to like billion dollars, like oh, like a couple billion dollars or something like that in in debt. I don't know how true that is, but apparently um, they, they owe a lot of money to a bank and come the end of the year, the bank might actually end up taking over the mall. And I can't imagine a bank wanting to continue to run a mall. So I don't, I don't know. Come the end of the year, as much as I hate to say it, this mall might not exist. So weird, some of the stores and um, things that are inside here. Looks like they've turned the uh, the old Forever 21 into some kind of schoolhouse woodworking. So some some weird woodworking studio. Look at that. I mean, at least at least companies are are moving in here, I, I guess, and still and still using these spaces. But yeah, I remember spending hours inside here with girlfriends back when this was a um, Forever 21. You can see the old chandeliers are still back there from when this used to be a, um, a Forever 21. There's still a, a Spencer's Gifts down there, which has been holding on in that area for a long, long time. There's really nothing back here in this section of the mall. I honestly think that Spencer's just probably has a really good deal on that space, because I can't imagine why anybody would want to, um, to have a store this far back in the mall since nothing else is really back here other than the the boss cobs which is still like i said one of the the main anchor stores that's kind of holding on but nothing else is nothing else is back here this part of the mall is completely dead except for the spencers it's honestly depressing walking around the mall thinking about all the different stores that i used to shop in all the different stores that people who had come out here with would want to shop in. I remember this store right here. I cannot remember what the name of it used to be, but I do remember it was a children's clothing store. I bought so many things for my son inside that store right there. So just walking around here, thinking about all the different memories I have of this mall coming out here for years, it does really get depressing, especially when I see stores I remember shopping in and spending time in and spending money in. The store right up here, I remember also buying clothes for my son and son in. It was kind of a, um, a hipster store. And in the back, they had a section that had kind of like hipster baby clothes. And I remember even before my son was born, going in here and buying hipster baby clothes for my son because I thought they were kind of ridiculous and goofy and funny and awesome all at the same time. I bought so many clothes for my son inside the store before he was, before he was even born. A whole bunch of his baby wardrobe 
was bought inside here. Now it's just completely blacked out. Again, cannot remember the name of this store either, unfortunately, but just so many, so many memories of this, uh, of this mall from when I was a, a teen, young adult, going into to parenthood, lots of memories. One of the interesting things about this mall is the fact that it's actually built onto a hill. So it has a first and a second floor, but the, the first floor and the second floor aren't um, complete circles. Only the, um, the, the second floor, the, the, I guess it was, this would be the top floor. Only the, um, the top floor is a full complete circle. The bottom floor is more of just a kind of C shape. But what I really wanna see is this fountain down here because the fountain on the, again, first floor, bottom floor, whatever you wanna call this, used to be a really interesting, unique fountain. And the mall just posted something, I believe it was on Facebook or some social media, showing this fountain. And I commented on the, the uh, photo they posted. They did not reply. And now I can see as to why they did not reply because they posted a photo of this fountain in working condition. And I actually got pretty excited because if this wasn't working condition, I would so want to come out here just to see this working because as you can see, there's these swans right here. And it was really interesting because they used to spit water out their, their mouths. Like I just, it was weird. It looked like they were throwing up. We always called this the, the puking swan fountain because it used to look like the swans were literally just puking. What, who, who came up with this design of water constantly, continuously coming out of a swan's mouth. I have no idea. It's a really weird, interesting idea, but um, I used to love looking at this, this fountain just to see the puking swans. Unfortunately, the photo the mall posted, obviously, um, was an old photo. The fountain is not working. It still just has a whole bunch of plants in it. That's a shame. I was hoping, I was hoping maybe Maybe they got the fountain up and working again, but I don't know why they would have gotten the fountain up and working again. There's really no reason to get the fountain up and, and working again, but it would have been pretty awesome. I'll tell you this though, there sure are a lot of trash cans for the, uh, the roof. Oh my gosh, the roof that is clearly, clearly leaking. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing it's for the mainline health center. As you can see, they have all these posters or plaques or whatever you want to call these for different towns in the area like here's malvern over here they've got uh, kennett square westchester but look at this they've got phoenixville pennsylvania and look what is represented right smack dab in the middle the colonial theater the home of the blob that is awesome i love when people think of phoenixville they clearly think colonial that is actually really really cool to see i actually haven't walked to the bottom floor of this mall in a really really long time. Even when I used to frequent this mall often, I wouldn't usually come down here because all the stores I would want to shop in were usually upstairs. I think maybe like one or two stores that I, I would occasionally hit up were down here. So even, even when this mall was hopping, I did not come down to the, the first floor, again, bottom floor, whatever, whatever you want to call it very, very often. So it kind of feels weird to, to walk down here. Looks like round one is still hopping. That's an interesting place. They got food, billiards, darts, ping pong, bowling it's an arcade karaoke i've been inside there once there was a lot of teenagers inside there i went in for maybe like uh, five minutes and then um and then left very very quickly i i cannot handle all the all the uh, the teenagers this is interesting though the habitat is still here wow i'm really surprised to see that that store has been here for a really really long time it's a um it's a hippie store if you haven't been inside a Habitat. I'm actually really surprised to see that they're still in business. That is awesome. Nobody's really walking down here or going inside there, but interesting to see that that Habitat is still holding on. One of the few stores still here. And honestly, one of the few stores I kind of expected to maybe not still be here. One thing I love most about walking around these dead and dying malls is trying to figure out what the stores used to be. I want to say maybe this was a Foot Locker, right? That's what I would think. Now I'm looking at uh, Legos inside here. Look at that. Some kind of builder's club, I'm guessing. Looks like um, first the first Lego league is using this location, but I want to say that was maybe a Foot Locker. This was definitely a Payless. You could just tell by the, uh, the old marquee and the walls. Yeah, this was 100% of Payless shoes back in the day. And I love how the 
The counters are still there. These companies just sort of packed up and left a lot of their, their stuff inside. And then whoever moved in afterwards, like the, um, the first Lego league, just used the walls, used the, the counters, used all the, the stuff that was, was left inside. But again, I love walking around this mall and thinking, okay, what did this store used to be? Maybe I should do a whole video where I just come out here with friends and we try to figure out what the, uh, the stores that are no longer there, what, what they used to at one point be. All right, so I'm really not sure what to, uh, to think about this mall at this point. I was, I was expecting to come out here and see this mall to be even more dead than it was the last time I was here. But the more I'm walking around, the more I'm thinking that there might actually be more stores or at least more storefronts being used. I can't say that all this stuff is, is a store like the, the Lego Builders Club and things like that, but clearly they're spending money to rent that location out. So I am surprised to see that there are there are more stores here than I, I had expected. There's a, a White House black market that's still holding on over there. So yes, a lot of this mall is dead. I'd say maybe like a good 90%, maybe I'll be generous and say 75% of this mall is dead. Probably more than 75% of this mall is, is unoccupied. But I honestly am surprised to see so many stores still holding on, so many stores still here and a lot of people actually, well, not a lot of people, but an okay amount of people still out here shopping. There's a loft down there. This used to be Zoomies right here. And then there was uh, Journeys, Journeys shoes right there. So if you want to come out here and get all your, your skateboarding supplies and skating shoes, you'd come to, come to this little corner, go to the Journeys and to the, uh, to the Zoomies. So again, I'm not sure what to think of the mall. I was, again, I was expecting to come out here Give you guys an update letting you know that this mall was completely and totally dead there was nothing going on it was falling apart in disrepair there was nobody here there was maybe like three stores food court was empty but there actually are stores still here stores still holding on and if i'm not mistaken stores that were not here last time i was out here that are here now so who, who knows? I don't know what the fate of this mall is. I've heard so many negative things. I've heard it's falling apart. I've heard it needs a ton of work. I've heard they're in debt. I heard maybe possibly the, the bank will be taking over, but at the same time, I don't know, maybe not. This is a section of the mall I remember quite well because on this corner used to be a Cinnabon and on that corner used to be an Annie Ann's. I remember buying lots of Cinnabons and lots of, uh, lots of Annie Ann's back in the day. I could really go for a cinnamon right now. That would be amazing. A cinnamon roll? I mean, yeah, I, I could I could definitely go for a, uh, a cinnamon roll. But I honestly wonder, is this mall just kind of being held on by the fact that there's still a Macy's here? If that Macy's was to, uh, to move out, if they were to go out of business or they were to move out of this mall, would the mall still exist? Is this kind of the one anchor store really keeping the mall alive? There is the Boss Cobbs as well, but... I wonder how much of this mall's life depends on the Macy's that's placed right in the middle. I don't know. At this point, I'm just kind of reminiscing. This used to be a Abercrombie and Finch. I remember that. I remember all the different uh, the different store displays they had. Every like every time I come here, these windows would be decorated just ever so slightly different. And this also is very nostalgic walking in from this section because I used to park in this parking garage all the time. I'm curious if the parking garage is still open and accessible. I would assume maybe it is. We're gonna walk out and um, and find out. I'm just I'm just curious. Looks like I guess you could still may maybe park here. I don't know. I'm not seeing any cars. Oh no, there are cars parked down here. There you go. So the parking garage is still accessible. You still can park, and the parking garage. Pretty much the two places I would park would be, well, right in this area. I'd park either right over there at the, um, the food court, which is where I'm parking now, or we'd always park here in the, um, the parking garage. So many times walking up and down these stairs right here to go to this mall. It's, it's weird that this is so depressing. You wouldn't think that just walking around a mall would be as depressing as it is, but I just think about, again, all the time, all the, all the hours, I spent coming out here, all the fun times I spent coming out here, all the people I came out here with, all the, all the, the million times I've walked up and down these stairs, parking in this parking garage. 
and it is kind of depressing. It is, it is, it is just depressing to think about the fact that the mall is kind of falling apart. The upkeep is only sort of minimal. And the fact that um, I don't think this mall is gonna be around for a really long time. This area is being very heavily built up. They're building all kinds of housing developments, all kinds of other shopping centers, more like strip malls, all kinds of things like that are being built in this area. So I wanna say the land that this uh, mall is, is placed on, it's probably worth a lot of money. I'm just gonna be nosy now. I'm kind of curious if you can park at the very, very top of the parking garage. I wonder if that's uh, blocked off or, or not. There's nobody really parked in this section here. So I don't know, maybe it's only the first floor is open. They could very well have the, uh, the ramps completely blocked off. There's nobody, nobody parked here at all. Let's say at one point they had, they had this area kind of roped off. So I don't know if you can, if you can still park up here or not, but I have a fun story about parking on the top of this, uh, this parking garage. So one time I came out here, decided to, for whatever reason, park at the very, the very, very top. And it was me and one other car. I parked about uh, in this area right here. There was another car parked all the way in the very, very, very far corner, which whatever, no big deal. Wouldn't even have paid attention to the car over there. Nothing weird was going on. No reason to, to even pay attention. But then I looked over at the car, realized there was a passenger or a, a driver in the driver's seat, a male in the driver's seat sitting there. And all of a sudden you see a head start bobbing up and down. So um, if you're the person who, who's fun, I interrupted that night, I apologize, but I got a good story and a good laugh out of it. Again, I'm just being nosy at this point. I'm really curious to know if you can even park in this part of the, uh, the parking garage. I'm hearing so many drips and whatnot. I don't know if it's even safe to be walking in this part of the parking garage, to be completely honest. Looks like nobody's really driven through here in a long time. You can see there's all kinds of, I don't even wanna know what's all over the, the ground. Maybe that's like pigeon stuff and leaves and, and who knows, but from the state, what I'm seeing, I'm gonna assume you can't park up here anymore. This is probably completely blocked off. And yeah, sure enough, look at that. You can no longer park on the second and uh, third levels of this parking garage. This is completely, completely blocked off to, uh, to parking. You can park downstairs on the very bottom floor of the garage, but uh, second and third floor, off limits, interesting. And also kind of sad, look at the old Zoomy stickers. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Somebody did some shopping at Zoomies and smacked their stickers up there. That's a, that's a relic right there. Man, I remember so many times parking. This is usually where I parked, the second level. Top level, bottom level, usually not. For whatever reason, the, the second level, I would always, always park here, man, on, on weekends, this a lot, we'd have to drive around for a while just to find a place to park. Now, they don't even bother to open it. All right, back into the, uh, the mall now, just to walk around for a little bit more. I think we've pretty much seen everything I, I wanna show you guys. And I, I, again, I just really came out here to do an update and see what state the mall was in. And it's looking like it's maybe even doing a little bit better, like I said, than it was last time I was out here. I don't think there were as many storefronts being occupied and being used. So again, I really, I really don't know what to tell you guys the fate of the mall is. I have heard so many negative things, but then I see more stores. So, I mean, at this point, I guess only time is gonna tell. This is also unexpected. The, um, the smart screens I've been noticing all throughout the mall, they're still in working condition. I mean, this one, maybe could use a little uh, maintenance, but for the most part, all these smart screens are still turned on. They don't seem to be doing anything though when you, when you tap them. So maybe they're just playing ads at this point. I'm not, what is going, what was going on there? Anyway, they don't actually seem to do anything when you, when you tap them. Usually what used to happen was a, um, a mall directory would pop up. You'd, you'd tap it, you'd say, <laughs> I felt like a, a vampire was just about to bite me. So you would, you would tap this and a mall directory 
would pop up and you could see what stores were, were in here. You could try to figure out where the stores were. It would say, okay, I wanna, I wanna go to Payless. And you would type in Payless and look to see where it was. It would show you exactly where on the, uh, the map of the mall it was. Now, I guess it's just playing ads because again, it doesn't seem to be doing anything when you, when you had actually touched the screen, but the fact that they're, up, they're still up and running, I mean, that's, I guess that's a good sign. On a side note, it looks like the massage chairs are still working as well. One of the most uncomfortable things I've ever had to deal with in my entire life. I think it was maybe the last time I was here, I tried one of these. It was terrible, it was awful, it was torture. Some of the worst pain I've ever been in. For the next like, couple days, my back hurt, my legs hurt, every part of me hurt because this thing just squeezed and poked and prodded. If you find these to be um, relaxing, I, I don't get it. What do you guys think this store used to be? I was gonna say Delia's, but no. Delia's, I believe, went out of business long before this mall started to go out of business. But you can see there's a bunch of like teenage girls up there, so definitely one of those stores that sold stuff to, uh, to teenage girls. I like all the glitter they've got going on, but honestly, I do not remember what the name of this store was, so leave comments down below if you think you know or you remember what that store used to be. But this store here, I remember very well. This used to be Pack Sun or well, Pacific Sunwear. They eventually changed their name just to, to Pack Sun. But I used to buy tons of jeans from Pack Sun back in the day. Look at this. All the the walls are still here, the fixtures are still there. Looks like they honestly just packed up yesterday. If you wanted to come out here and open up a Pacific Sunwear, I mean you're you're good to go. All the fixtures are are still here for whatever reason. Look at that. I always wonder why these stores, when they close up, they don't take the fixtures with them. They spent money on these. The store had to spend money to, to buy all these fixtures. And Pacific Sunwear is still a company, right? So couldn't, the, couldn't Pacific Sunwear use these fixtures in other stores? Maybe some store there, their little cart there, or whatever the little, I don't, I don't folding tape, whatever that thing is. Maybe, the, maybe there's broke. They could take this one, send it to a different store. Maybe, maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe that's, just, maybe that's too expensive. Maybe shipping these somewhere else, storing them somewhere else, then shipping them to another store. Maybe all that's just way too expensive. It's probably just cheaper just to, to leave the crap here the more I think about it. I'm still just walking around reminiscing and I came across this uh, marquee here showing all the stores that used to be inside this mall. So as you can see at one point, this mall was hopping. There were a ton of stores in here. Now, probably, I don't know, maybe 10% of these stores, actually probably less, then 10% of these stores still exist. I'm, I'm saying maybe 10% of the buildings, the, the storefronts are still occupied, but I guarantee you most of these doors probably no longer here. The Boscovs is, the Macy's is, the Sears is definitely not here, but look at all these, all these stores that at one point used to be inside this mall. Pretty crazy to think that all these stores were once here and sadly, most of them no longer are. So I think I may have actually found a section of the mall I've never been in before. I don't recognize any of this. I don't think I've ever been over here, probably because I've never parked in the, uh, the Macy's Boscov's parking garage before. This is a different parking garage on the other side of the mall. I don't think I've ever actually parked here before, so I've never walked through these doors. I'm guessing this was guest relations. That would be my assumption. This is probably where you'd come to I don't know, air out your grievances or, or get information, maybe get some mall maps, something like that. There's restrooms over here and there's a seating area with information about the Exton area. Look at that. These are awesome. If the mall does get torn down, I hope these are saved. There's some relics here you can actually touch. Look at that. How cool. How cool is that? I hope these get saved. I hope hope stuff like this gets preserved, even if the mall itself doesn't. But again, as many times as I've been to this mall, I honestly don't think I've ever walked over here before. I know I haven't parked there before. I mean, you, you learn something, you see something, you experience something new every day. I definitely don't remember this being here before. So maybe this was a very short lived restaurant. I'm, I'm guessing it looks like it was a Mediterranean cuisine restaurant. I'm honestly not familiar with this place. And again, I don't remember this being here last time I was in the mall. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I definitely can say 
this was never opened when I was in this mall. I've, I've never seen this opened before, but um, you've eaten here. Comments, was it, was it any good? I mean, it must not have been that good. Didn't last very long. Wait a minute, hold on. I shouldn't say that. That place could have been absolutely delicious. The reason why it might not still be there is because they chose to open up inside this mall. All right, guys, so I think that's just about gonna do it for the Exton Square Mall. I was just uh, stopped by a security guard who told me no filming, no photos, no nothing allowed to be uh, taken inside the mall. I was also informed by them that apparently they don't want people knowing the, uh, the state of the mall, which I guess I can understand. They don't want people knowing that it's a, a dead and dying mall. Again, I, I get it. I, I understand. They want people to come out here. They want people to shop. They want people to come into the stores. I understand why they wouldn't want people thinking this mall is, um, is dead and dying and seeing the, uh, the uh, kind of state of somewhat disrepair that it's in. I mean, it's not, it's not falling apart completely, but uh, the, um, the roofs are leaking. Some of the escalators aren't so much working. The elevators are kind of done. It's not, it's not in the best condition the mall has, um, has ever been. And it's, uh, it has seen better days, unfortunately. But with that being said, I am here to tell you the mall is not a dead mall. There are still stores in there. It looks like some new stores have actually opened up since the last time I've been here. There's, there's people out here shopping. The place was not hopping, but there were a decent amount of patrons in there shopping and eating and, and whatnot. So there are still stores in the mall. There is still a reason to come out here to the Exton Square Mall and hopefully maybe things will turn around and we'll see this mall open up once again. I would love to, uh, I would love to see that. I would love to be able to come back out here and do my shopping like I used to. Fingers, fingers crossed. I hope someday to see this mall back in, back in running and back in its, back in its glory like it was back in its, uh, back in its heyday. We will, we will see. I've had heard, like I said, I have heard some bad things about the mall here. It's, um, it is in a bit of disrepair. There's a lot of money needed to, to be put into the mall to get it back up and, and running and, and not leaking and things fixed. And um, apparently they're, they're quite a bit in debt as well. So hopefully come the end of the year, it'll still be owned by whoever. Maybe somebody else will buy it. Maybe they'll put some more money into it. Maybe the bank will, will put some money into it. But I do think if the bank does end up taking over, I, it doesn't look good for the, um, the mall. But all right, guys, so Exton Square Mall. If you've ever been out here, if you've ever done sh your shopping here, if you were like me, you used to frequent, frequent this mall quite often and you enjoyed coming out to this mall and honestly, you miss this mall and wish it was, uh, wish it was still like it was back in the day. Leave those comments down below, but I can feel, I can feel the eyes of the security guards watching me right now. So I'm gonna let you guys go. So as always guys, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you postcards every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do help support the show and they keep the show going. So I really do appreciate it. But there you go, your update on the Exton Square Mall. I don't know what to say. It's not, um, it's not a dead mall. It's maybe sort of a dying mall, but at the same time, maybe kind of not a dying mall. It's in this weird, strange state of limbo where it's not quite alive, but it's not quite dead. It's not quite living. It's not quite dying. Really weird, bizarre, not quite dead mall. Get out here, shop here, pay, pay your respects to this mall. Give them some money. Maybe they'll maybe they'll stick around. Anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Oh, if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag, um, what should we say? Hashtag living dead mall. There you go. Living dead mall. If you guys watch this video all the way until the very end. All right, thanks for watching. Like I said, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. That airplane up there sounds like a bomb dropping. Hopefully not onto the mall, though that might save them some money. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Wait a minute, guys. Are you still watching? I'm pulling away, driving out of the mall, and then I notice this right here. Spirit Halloween. I don't know, guys. Maybe the mall really is dead.